How's it going, my dudes? Hope you're having a good day and or night and or whenever you're watching this video. Um, I thought I'd just do a real quick uh, figurine feature video because I haven't done that in a while and I thought I'd do it a bit differently and probably take a lot less effort with it because I want to be lazy. So yeah, um, I thought something that would be kind of cool over the next year or so would be to kind of just cover figurines and just have a wee look at the things I'm getting and partly to help document what I'm getting each year because I just cannot remember what there is that I've been getting. Um, and then also I guess it would be kind of cool just showing you guys what there is. So yeah, today we've got the um, precious figure of Rin um, from Toei. So, no it's Toei. Um, Taito. Right there. Um, so manufactured by Taito and I'm pretty sure it is distributed by Katakawa because they're pretty much got their hand in everything in the anime industry. Big money grab. Well, they are the big money. So yeah, um, we have a look at the box. We've seen the top. Um, Precious Collection, that's kind of the logo, I guess. Or the collection. Um, that's most the front. Back. Same as the main front. And then that's pretty much what we're expecting to have inside the box. So I thought it looked pretty cute. And then bottom is just information that I cannot read. So yeah, um, because I couldn't be bothered waiting to get inside this box, I have the figurine right here. So we'll get rid of this box and we'll have a closer look, shall we? Well, first I guess before we have a closer look, um, we'll more just have a look, see what we have. Um, because we've got, you know, she's in her Subaru hat, or in Subaru's hat. Um, goddamn booty shorts, because booty shorts are the best. And a white t-shirt, which is uh, transparent, so I'm assuming it's just meant to be a, or s simulate, a um, damp white shirt. So like, it, it's, as she's at the beach, um, because it's kind of what this is, it's a beach figuring. Um, yeah, it's more or less all we can see from here. So let's zoom in on our little friend here. And now we can have a closer look. So under looking at it, um, and I've probably had a bit more time to look at it because she's been out of the box for like a week now. Um, there's a little bit right in here that I've noticed we've got. So just behind the ear, there's a bit of effy paintwork. Um, but that's typically, I guess, expected from these more cheaper figurines. Still genuine, but bit cheaper. Um, same thing applies for um, the ribbon over here because you can kind of see the paint's a little bit not not even I guess. It's just thickly put on a bit blobby and then on the inside you can also kind of see there that it's kind of going in so it's been painted elsewhere so it's all kind of like laid down flat and then it's set and just put on and then kind of similar for the hairband up there. Those bits. So they're just kind of going with the hair in a little bit. Gross. Positive thing, because it's just criticisms at the moment. But I quite like how um, with other Rin figurines, it's kind of just straight blue. But you can notice here, the hair itself, is, um, it kind of has a fade from there to the bottom where it goes kind of transparent. So that kind of just gives that a nice sort of... What's the, what's the word? I don't know. It kind of just gives it that nice effect, transition, for, for the fringe. Um, we'll have a look at the hat, which is kind of, kind of cool. I do quite like how they've just added the back texture for it as well. There's just a nice little bit of detail there. Got the bow, or the ribbon bow, for the back of the swimsuit bikini top. So that's quite nice. Um, for the shorts. I know, you're looking up her shorts, or looking up her shirt, but I do quite like how you've even got the button there for the shorts, but in typical swimsuit shorts fashion, it's nicely unbuttoned, so that's a nice wee feature, even though you can't even see it. And then if you look at the shorts over here, you've kind of got the um, little bits of texture for the, for the fabric. Um, both the actual, f actual f fabric texture and then also just the um, 
creases and whatnot, which they're they're a little bit messy-ish, but they still seem fine. Uh, it's more as what you expect from a figurine um, that's a bit cheaper than you know you'd normally get. And then otherwise, you've just got leg heel, which is good, and that's just more or less it. Overall, I'd say it's a pr pretty good figurine that I would say would be worth adding to the collection. Um, like, obviously, if you look at it very closely, you can obviously see its faults. But from a distance, I reckon it's a good one. Um, I'm partially biased, I will be honest though, because um, I quite like the the booty short style, and Ren is also, you know, a good character. And it's, a, and it's a different thing to the, the typical you know, everyday swimsuit sort of thing. So yeah, this is, I guess, a feature of the, um, yeah, Rin, Rin t-shirt swimsuit version from uh, Taito, uh, from the Precious series. I'm expecting to get two more at some point, like halfway through the year, from this collection, so I'll probably do one then. And I've also got a few other figurines which I want to have a look at. So yeah, look out for them. Um, until then, uh, I guess do what you want. I'm not going to beg for likes or anything like that because you'll do what you want. I don't care. I do. Please. Love me. <laughs> but nah, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. That's a big hand. Jesus Christ.